Jeff Bowen's wife and his mother say they are overwhelmed by the generosity the community has shown them, and they wanted to do this interview to thank everyone for all of the love, kindness, and support. <laughs> July 28, 2011 is a day Stacy Bowen will never forget. And on the way to the hospital, I keep saying, it's just smoke inhalation. It's just smoke inhalation. She was at work when the phone rang. Bad news was on the line. And I knew then something was very wrong. So then I knew, but he didn't survive. Less than two weeks after her husband, Captain Jeff Bowen, died a hero, the pain is still raw. We will be married six years on September 10th. But support from fellow firefighters. As a firefighter's wife, you know that the brotherhood is there. This department is hurting just as bad as my family's hurting because this was their brother. And support from the community is what's pulling the family through. I've heard, you know, so many times, if you need anything, let me know. We were overwhelmed with how nice everyone has been um, and supportive to us. His wife and mother can't help but smile when they talk about him. Jeff was born to be a fireman. He's wanted to be a fireman since he was about six years old. He became a volunteer fireman at age 16. I often say when people get a calling like that, it's in their blood. And uh, that's all he ever wanted to do. The reality of death is difficult. It's like any other tragedy. This happens to somebody else. But a city of shoulders to lean on makes it easier. I just want to tell the community thank you. From the bottom of my heart, I, uh, I, I know it will continue. Um, instead of having one son, now I have like 500. I just, I can't say enough about um, the love and support that we're receiving, and that's really what is upholding um, myself and my family uh, day to day. The Fallen Firefighters Fund has been set up to help Jeff Bowen's family. You can find information about how to donate on WLOS.com.